Well, it is the day after Thanksgiving, which has traditionally meant the kickoff of the holiday shopping season. But Black Friday is looking a little bit different this year. Thank you so much for joining us this morning here at five o'clock. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. The pandemic changing how many retailers are actually handling the shopping holiday. 25 News reporter Eliza Navarro joins us live this morning from Central Texas Marketplace in Waco. And Eliza, that marketplace has actually been pretty busy since school let out for Thanksgiving. Is anything happening this early? Good morning, Joe. Yes, actually, when I showed up and I parked my car, I went around a little bit and there are some lines by Cabela's, Kohl's here at Best Buy behind me. There's already a line around the building and let me tell you, of course, we've talked about how different the pandemic has made a lot of things and this year we don't have any campers out there. The line isn't like half a mile, a mile long, so it's a short line. It's an easy one. I had a gentleman I talked to who was telling me that he just came specifically for the Xbox, but he said he did go talk to the people in the front and they told him if you're here for the Xbox, we don't have any more. They're only online. So he came up to me and said, hey, a lot of people are here for that and I have to go already. So it's a little bit different this year. People want a specific thing if they're out here. If not, they're doing their shopping online. You know, we've seen all of the commercials and all the advertisements about Thanksgiving shopping for Black Friday all week for the entire month. So things are definitely different this year. And again, many retailers have undergone pandemic prompted makeovers this Black Friday with mandatory mask wearing and sanitizing stations. And according to a recent survey from the Deloitte, around 51% of US shoppers say they feel anxious about in store shopping this holiday season. But some customers say they feel comfortable shopping in brick and mortar stores. I feel so safe uh, using Max. The stores are doing a good job as well, keeping everybody safe. It's a lot less people and usually it's, you know, more a lot more people around us and you're more claustrophobic, but this year is a lot more laid that laid back. Retail analysts say Black Friday's in-person popularity has declined somewhat over the last few years and mainly because of the online shopping and that was just before the pandemic. While many retailers kicked off their Black Friday deals again early in the store and online, here's a look at some of the major retailers that are open today and according to data from BlackFriday.com, Old Navy opened its stores at midnight. Meanwhile, Walmart opened its stores at 5 this morning, as did Academy, Cabela's, JCPenney, Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Lowe's. Those opened at 6. Now opening up at 7 will be Belk, GameStop, Michaels, and Target. Barnes & Noble opens at 8, and Dillard's opens at 9. And if you have any questions about a particular store, it might also be a good idea to call ahead since everyone is doing things a little bit different. So if you decide to head out, it seems like Black Friday is a little more chill this year, but you got to remember we're in the middle of a pandemic. So wear your mask, take precautions, social distance, maybe check online and again, call ahead just to make sure they have what you want or just to see if they're open or not. Joe, back to you.